What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 9 of our Python with PyQt for creating GUIs uh, tutorial video series. What we're going to be talking about today is a progress bar. So like I was saying, Qt just comes with a lot of little, little widgets that just make your life easier. And one of the more popular things that you're going to see in Windows is a progress bar. But to do a progress bar in Tkinter is a little more difficult. To do one in uh, WX Python, a little more difficult. Doing a progress bar in PyQt is a breeze. So let's go ahead and show a quick example. So we're going to make a progress bar and we're going to have it be part of our home page. So we're going to come down here and let's just add some uh, progress bar code. So we're going to say self.progress equals qt gui dot q progress bar and pass self. Then we're going to set the geometry to this progress bar. You don't have to, but I, I like to kind of modify it. So we're going to say self dot progress dot set geometry. And we're going to set the geometry to 200 by 800. Or, well, it's going to be starting 200x 80y, and then it will be 250 wide and 20 pixels tall. Next, what we're going to do is you can have a progress bar, okay? But if you just have a progress bar, like, I don't know, you have to have something that, like, um, makes it go, right? So we're going to make a quick button that just says, like, download, okay? It'll just be kind of a pseudo download, but we'll make it anyway. So you've already seen buttons, but we'll do self.btn equals Q, oops, qt GUI dot q progress pro, pro progress progress uh oh, oh whoops, whoops, whoops qt gui and q push button instead uh and we want this button to be uh download and self then self dot btn uh dot move and our other let's see this is at 200 by 80 so let's make this uh, 201, and it'll be 80, so 20 to uh, 120. That should be fine. And then we'll do self.btn.clicked.connect, and then self.download. Okay, so we need to make this download method now. Now, again, we're not going to actually download anything, but we're going to at least make the progress bar go. So we'll come on down here and we'll make a new method. And this one is obviously going to be define download, pass in self. And now let us go self.completed. So we're you know just establishing a starting point here. So self.completed equals zero. And then we're going to say, wow, self.completed is less than 100, because we want to stop at 100%. Self.completed plus equals, and we'll just do 0 0.0001. <laughs> that'll, do, that'll make it go slow enough. Um, and then we'll go self.progress.set value. And then self dot completed. So whatever completed is, and then so it is just keep adding this point zero 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 one until it hits a hundred. But it's also going to set the value of um, our progress bar, whatever self dot completed is, and our progress bar is obviously up here. And the value is you know how much complete are we like five percent, ten percent, twenty percent, so on. So let us go ahead and run this bad boy. Cool. So now we've got our window and we have our download. We can click it and wouldn't you know it, it downloads stuff and we can keep downloading it. Like we are ultra fast downloaders. Anyway, a uh, pretty cool progress bar. And again, you know, we didn't have to do any like of the graphics here for this progress bar. We didn't need to really code, you know, the we coded the dimensions of it, but we didn't even code this little percent showing over here. Really none of that. And it even has the little loading like, um, I don't know, effect of whatever computer you're using. I'll show you later how we can change uh, the styles of the window once we have a lot of stuff on here. Um, and in fact, we'll probably just go ahead and do that in the next video. So um, so you can sh see how you can change the style because depending on what operating system you're running, this is probably looks a little different. The whole window probably looks a little different. Uh, and that's the magic of Qt. So anyways, really Qt needs to hire me as like a salesperson because I think I'm doing a pretty darn good job. <laughs>
Anyway, that's it for the progress bar. Lots of people were asking about a progress bar in the Tkinter series, and honestly, I don't know how to make one with simply, but this, you can do it so quickly and easily, and you just pass the value of the bar, and it's like, bam, done. So that's awesome. So anyways, that's it for this. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments up to this point, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.